the trauma that our parents must have experienced and, mm. and um, step parents must have experienced in mm. your case is the heritage of trauma mm. the understanding wasn't available then no. the the media and the film network was not available that we could bring it forward what really needs to happen can drugs fall away from, can the need for drugs fall away in yeah, your eyes, Miguel? Yeah, of course, of course. Drugs are just a symptom. They're a symptom of, 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 of a disease. There was an experiment that was done with, with, with rats, yeah? And these rats that were, were put in a small cage in a confined, uncomfortable, not nice environment, and they were given two levers. One lever was heroin and the other lever was food. Invariably, the rats went to the heroin, even to the point of starvation, they would keep going back to the heroin. Now they did a, a duplicate experiment where they put rats in paradise, in a rat paradise, yeah, loads of space, it was a great big cage, but that they could run around and it was as if they weren't confined and they had all, loads of, um, you know, toys and adventures and different things that they could do and so on, like a natural environment. Two levers, food and heroin. The rats didn't touch the heroin. Now for me, I know rats and humans aren't, you know, there's some differences, but what that says to me is that when we're living dysfunctionally and we're living in the way that we're not supposed to live, then we have to resort to things like drugs and so on to make us feel alive. If we live how we're meant to live, there would be no need, there would be no pull, there would be no drive to escape consciousness and escape reality and escape from where you are. Consciousness is what stands out to me. Mm -hmm. uh, an awareness of why, because why you were taking drugs, you've explained clearly. Mm -hmm. If that resonance can be felt and heard around the world, then we have the why. And then we start to formulate the solutions that go. Mm -hmm. So what are the solutions that have enabled you to not, you know, to not take the drugs anymore that you were taking many years ago? Mm. How did it work? Well, I think fundamentally it's through grace. Synchronicity, it's just kind of like happened through <coughs> different opportunities that have arisen for me. It's kind of like you have to, so, you know, if the drugs are, filled, are doing their best to fill this great big uh, uh, hole, this void inside you, which I believe essentially is our disconnection from source, from God, from creation. If, we, if you're trying to fill that, then as you take less drugs, then you have to fill that, ideally, with connection to source. So the more connected you are to what life is really about, the more connected you are to your potential, the more connected you are to life, the more connected you are to love, the more connected you are to service, to helping your fellow human beings, the less the need arises in you to avoid reality, to avoid where you are. <laughs>